Hello everyone and welcome to part 4 of our Pokemon Legends Let's Play. Uh, forgive me for our last part, my voice was starting to sound a little bit rough, so I took a, a short break. So let's resume our Let's Play here. We needed to talk to the professor so he can evaluate our Pokédex. Let's see if on the way we can spot anything interesting like these berries here. Horror berry. Can we climb this? Yes, we can. Kinda. Maybe later we can get some kind of tool so we can climb easier hey popping up like that oh uh -huh, if it isn't a craft key crafting kit you must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings excellent work dear girl this seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards they offer. And we also be sure you receive money, buzzage of 11, Pokemon you caught. You also receive money if you fill it certain conditions. On that note, let me check the research tasks you have completed thus far. Reported by Pedge, no star member. Okay, I guess this is the way we're gonna get mostly of our money since I don't think there's gonna be too many trainer battles in this game. Mm hmm, I see. Most illuminating. I will update your Pokedex with this new data. Uh, by carrying out research tasks, raise the research levels. If you raise, raise a Pokemon entries to level 10, that entry will be considered complete and will be have unlocked all the detailed information to hatch about that species. Also, gain Pokemon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokédex. I see. Ah, not quite yet there, I'm afraid. You will need to complete a few more research tasks before you have, before you are ready to go up your rank. I do recommend you work your way through Bidoofies and Starly tasks first. Hang in there. So this kind of seems like, uh, like how Pokemon Snappy works. Look, start like there's nothing in particular for you to report yet this time, huh? So, what would you like to do now? Uh, yeah, yeah. So I guess we can do this a little bit more. Oops. So let's check your Pokédex here. So be do find Starly. You have caught, we can catch more Bidoofies, or we can defeat Bidoofies, we haven't defeated anyone of them yet. Number of different forms you obtained, too. So I think we got a male and a female. Investigate the Bidoof touch bother the village. Yeah, not sure how about proceeding with that yet. Number defeated. From as you obtainage. Okay, what starly do we have? 
doesn't show here. How do we check? Here. Uh, we have a uh, female starly, two female starly. So if we find a male one, we're gonna capture it. So let's beat up some Bidoofies and some Starlies. I'm gonna go do that with my Cyndaquil. Oh yeah, Cyndaquil needs some healing. Hopefully he's good enough to take a few Bidoofs. Or not. Damn. Yeah, kinda forgot he has rollout. Uh yes we can send it is starly. Let's send it the Shinx. I guess we're not gonna need to go back to heal them. Starts up for our person in the wheel. Let me check it. their stats. Like I think their stats are way above the previous games. Yeah, it's way too high. Like 53 special defense. I'm not sure why the stats on this game are so high. Maybe they just wanted you like big numbers, but I don't think we're gonna be able to transfer Pokemon from other games into this game. Or maybe we will, but the game will like erase the stats of the Pokemon transferred. Because these stats are way too high, I'm not sure why they scale the scalage the stats up so much. What's this? Oh, just a flower. Okay, let's go back. Hopefully it will revive your vintage Pokemon. Okay, he is back to normal. Can we go out again? Let's go. Let's be a little bit more careful now. I completely forgot that Bidoofies have now rollout. That wasn't a thing in past games. So maybe we should challenge a Bidoofie with another Bidoofie. How they sync up. Oh, did we got a berry. Okay, let's see. Where's the Starly? And this is a guy over there. What's this guy here is about? Uh, the hard you will be to catch if yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, it does. I know that. Okay, that you won't saw me. How about this one? But. Yeah, nothing. Uh, I guess we can challenge them to a fight. Can't see anything though. 
Well, at least we can change camera angles. Wouldn't it be cool if he could just, like set a blaze out the grass here? Oh, he was made orange. Yeah, we should have got them. Oh well. And this one is male as well, or is the female? Let's see. Ah, female. Ah, oh, they can run away like that. Huh. Nice. And I believe I can't pass that bridge. Don't think that guy will let us pass. Some herbs here. Gonna take a while to get used to this map here. Just like in, in Pokemon Search. Hmm, kind of wish that there's no, no gaming music here. Rumpo. Do we need to do something with a Rumpo? Uh, specimens. Yeah. Number of light specimens you have caught. Huh, so they have uh, varying weights now. Numbers defeated, numbers you've seen use the poison sting. So I guess we can defeat some of this. Oh, it's level 5, nice. Yeah, I was gonna catch it. Oh well. Let's we get a bunch of free experience. Oh, level six, nice. Let's try to catch this one, and we can try to evolve this one. So items. Specimens you caught, nice. And I think we need to go back to the the village so we can swap Pokemon. Because we can swap from here. So I think we need to go back to the village. Uh, can we go through here? Let's see what happens. Oh, we can swing. Nice. Oh, and there's a snark star. I uh, guess we can't swim too far. And I think this means we are most dead. And there we we coverage. Hmm. So you're gonna need a Pokemon with Surf. Ah, there he is. Pretty far to be angry at me already. Yeah, I'm not a fan how we have to click the left channel login to be able to run. This is gonna give me some... Some analog drift. That's what she mainly causes the analogs to drift. 
You keep pushing on the analog stick. Oh, that was close. <laughs> hey, you. Come back here. Ah. So maybe we need to be more... Furtive. Really? I think we caution all. No, damn. Now let's try to battle this. I'm gonna say, I'm quite enjoying this game. Like, they have implemented a lot of changes on this. Oh, gosh, nice. First time seeing that. Maybe that will count to the Pokédex. Move Masterage. Nice, we learned a new move. Uh, let's heal Cyndaquil. I think we have a potion. Yes, we have H. Any more stylies over here? Just a bunch of rumples. Yeah, I'm kind of lost on this map. Ah, there's a goal. There's our chance. Ah, really? Damn. Yeah, this Pokemon throwing, Pokeball throwing business isn't she as easy as I thought. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to be on the grass for it to count. There we go. Let's see if we can couch it. Nice. So we got you one without you being seen. Yes. And it's getting dark. And she ominous music. Oh, new Pokemons. Nice. Oh, I think he's match. Yes, he's match. Oh, nice. Wait, what's this here? Ah, we got the styles. I saw something about this on the trailer. Like, we can use strong styles so we hit harder. And we can use agile styles so we hit faster so we have priority on the movie list here there the action order interesting so i guess as the pokemon levels up he's gonna get you like a different style for every move okay time to catch this pokemon it's burn edgy and with low hp should be fine there we go At night, huh? Uh, what's over there? That's just somewhere with snow leak. 
Okay, I think that's enough. Let's get back to the camp. And I want you to get back to town and reorganize my party a little bit. Uh, can we go up here? Yes. Hey, more medicinal leak. I need to craft some more potions later. I'm probably gonna do all the crafting off screen. Maybe like the first time crafting, I will do on screen, and later I will do mostly off screen. This reminds me a lot of Pokemon Snap. Oh, we reached level 10 with Cyndaquil here. Nice. I do believe you are ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Sainini. This time you earned yourself a star. Nice. So I think we are progressing on the story with this. Okay, so let's see. Can I now switch Pokemons? Uh, how did I switch Pokemons again? I forgot what I pressed the last time. Here's for the map. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe it was when I was on my house. I'm gonna figure out in a bitch. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokédex. Guess we need to show us in the queue, alright? Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. So, there is 10 stars. You can now use Heavy Balls. Oh, nice. Pokemons up to level 20 will also be your orders reliable on battle. Oh, so the stars are like badges. I see. You earn, the rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you need for crafting. Heavy balls. Crafting revives. Oh, nice. Vivi Choki. Haven't seen that yet. We probably can buy that. That she a stranger like you should fall from the sky and yet flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep your teach, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. So I wonder if you wish this heavy ball we can catch that Snorlax we saw. But your best that Snorlax is way past level 20. For today at least you have earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. And I think that's wrap up day 1. 
So, Pad, my girl. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request bureau? Beauty guard hat. I'm not sure who that guy is. Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon. You haven't noticed, you right? So it's our job as the survey corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We are basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help you when you talk with them, while others request you will need to be claimed from the black board I keep in my lap. Speaking of which, when you approached with a request recently, Ray, what it's all about? That one might be better fit for a patch than me. I don't think I will be able to pull which off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. Ah oh yes, that request request came from May of May of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. The people of Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there is much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. The next day... Hey Patch, before I go meet Mai about that request, mind show me how you do in battle? Uh, sure. Great, I will be training. I will be at training grounds. If you have been catching lots of Pokemon, you can change your team up at the pastures. Just so you know. Ah, so that's how you will change your Pokemon. And where are the pastures? I can probably check that out on my map. But I think that's gonna be it for today. I don't you want to make it, the vi each part of the video too long. So on next part we're gonna fight Ray there and maybe learn what is the request from my. Anyway, hope you guys can catch up with me next time. Take care.